She's devoted her life to bringing awareness to human trafficking, a tireless abolitionist who wants to see bondage decimated across the globe and freedom restored. We're happy to welcome back Julie Todaro, founder of A Heart for Freedom that advocates for A21. It's wonderful to see you again. Hi, it's good to see you. Thank you. We appreciate you coming and unfortunately under the circumstances of having to talk about human trafficking, um, we're, we've been talking about 39 children who were rescued in Georgia uh, during a two-week operation involving multiple agencies in search for children who've either been exploited, abducted, used for sex trafficking, you name it. So, so if we can first just talk about why this has become such a passion for you. Um, well, I would say that um, I have dealt with a lot of issues of sexual exploitation and abuse myself. Um, which kind of led me into working with other women that had been sexually exploited. Um, and in doing that, um, there's there's just a lot of bondage that comes with that lifestyle. There's a lot of things that kind of grab a hold of you that you really have to fight through. And, and um, when I born Heart for Freedom, to reach out to women that are a little bit further behind me that are coming out of these um, traffic situations or these exploited situations and tell them who they are. You know, that they're, that they're beautiful, beautiful women that are created to, you know, um, know God and, and be better and be whole. And, and that, that's where my heart is. And you certainly are a beacon, a shining beacon of hope for a lot of women <laughs> who would otherwise find just uh, nothing but hopelessness. And your organization helps to advocate for another organization, which is a worldwide A21. And can you tell us uh, what does A21 stand for? Sure. A21 is abolishing, is the idea to abolish human trafficking in the 21st century. So that's the A and the 21. Um, and they're a global organization that has, has been founded for quite a few years uh, by a lady named Christine Kane, who just does an amazing job. Um, she's a well-known uh, speaker and she advocates for human trafficking awareness and um, rescue and, and she does a lot of things. When we hear of these children being rescued, 39 children, what, when you hear that kind of news, what goes through your mind? A relief, right? I mean, I'm I'm happy that that happened. I but sad at the same time because it just it makes me sad to a to know that those 39 children suffered for as long as what they did, and b to have to have something like that. Even though it's good that they rescued, to have to have something like that to bring light into all of this. You know, where where I just really really feel like there's so much going on right now with the COVID and the election year that all, our whole country is divided. And I really am so passionate on not being divided on this topic and because this is our children. We, there should be no, there's no political party here. There's no, this in and of itself is a virus, you know, like it's really happening. We need to talk about it every single day and not necessarily when somebody's rescued right like i guess that's where my heart typically goes yes it's a good thing it's an amazing thing but what about the other you know seven hundred thousand runaways that haven't been found i think that i would really encourage us as as mothers as fathers to educate ourselves um so that way we can educate our children like if we're if we're armed with what we need to explain to our children about topics like sexual trafficking and sexual exploitation um, then we'll be better equipped to explain those concepts to our children before they hear them in places that they don't need to hear them, such as Netflix or at school, things that, that aren't as filtered as what we could do as a mother or a father. Social so, if, yeah. yeah, I know it sounds really cliche, but if we educate ourselves that um, and, and arm ourselves with that information, then we'll be better equipped to educate our children and it really does start at home in that regard and like that's self-valuing that, too it's to, right. to value yourself as well yes. Julie, yes. for anybody who's interested in finding out more information about your organization or wanting to help where should they go um well heart for freedom um has a facebook page so you can always check out there as far as um some of the things that we're working on directly as a team um, and then also I want to mention that A21, um, when we talk about educating, they have a global summit coming up on October 17th um, that you can join and you can um, learn more about uh, what's happening with trafficking on a global level, but also in terms of educating ourselves so you can educate your kids. So I would strongly, it's a free event, so I would strongly encourage um, people to jo join that.
Absolutely. Julie, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We're See back you. after this.